Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about 10 things you need to know about the brand new Grand Theft Auto Online DLC vehicle, the Debauchee Rapid GT Classic. That was actually just added into Grand Theft Auto Online a few hours ago, earlier this morning. Now, before we jump into this video, I need to make two announcements. Number one is that I'm doing a shark card giveaway that's going on right now on my Twitter account. So I'm going to be giving away $1.25 million for this vehicle, which as we'll talk about in a little bit should cover the entire cost of not only the vehicle itself but also any upgrades and customization that you should do. Now that giveaway is going to be ending on Friday so you've still got a couple days to enter and I'll be leaving a link to that in the description so if you want to check it out for yourself you can and one of you guys is probably going to be walking away 1.25 million dollars richer which is awesome. Announcement number two uh, if you didn't catch my video earlier I don't have power at my house due to Hurricane Irma. So, and I don't know when it's gonna be coming back. Right now I'm working off of my laptop in a place that does have power, but that means I'm pretty limited in terms of what I can do in video and obviously I can't stream at all. So that's the reason there was no early live stream and if videos are slow, then just keep that in mind. But I'm gonna be doing my best to try and put out content and uh, I'm gonna be trying to get out as many videos as I can, especially when it involves new DLC stuff like what came out today. All right, so the first thing we need to know about this brand new vehicle, the Debanchi Rapid GT Classic, is it's available on the Legendary Motorsports site and its price, not actually all that bad. It's $885,000, which as I mentioned, really not all that bad at all. Now it's obviously a two-seater vehicle, but getting back to the price, it actually makes it the cheapest vehicle out of the remaining drip feed content. So if you're short on cash, this is gonna be the cheapest it gets, $885,000. And that doesn't even include any of the customization, which is the second thing we need to talk about today. The Debauchee Rapid GT Classic has unbelievable customization. It has the most customization of any sports classic vehicle and rivals pretty much the most customization of nearly any vehicle that you can bring inside of the Los Santos Custom Shop. I mean, you can upgrade the bumper, the hood, the headlight covers. I mean, you can do so much spoilers, skirts. It's crazy the amount of upgrades and customization you can do to this vehicle. So if you're one of those guys or girls that buys vehicles because they really really like to modify and customize a car and make it as unique as possible, well then you're going to absolutely love the Rapid GT Classic because it delivers in pretty much every single way as far as customization goes, which is awesome and it's also very rare to see that from a sports classic vehicle. Now one of those things I love about the vehicle that actually isn't even customization is the brand new unique interior. So the Rapid GT Classic has an interior that no other car in the game has. It has the these nice wood finishes. It's got a bunch of different gauges and dials that not only look awesome, but when you get out of the car, when you exit, they will glow up with various different signs and symbols. It's really cool. And I know that might be super little and super small to a lot of people, but I think that's really awesome. The little details for me personally really make this car. And the inside, the interior is absolutely beautiful. And I feel like in other cars, especially even within this DLC, like the Coil Cyclone, the interior is kind of something that's overlooked. Now, speaking of something that might have been overlooked, let's talk about the liveries of this vehicle. Now, for the most part, they're actually really awesome, and I, I think that a lot of them are incredibly cool. However, there's two liveries in particular that do have some issues. So they are the Zero Gas Black and Zero Gas White. So on the passenger side, the Zero Gas logo is actually cut off by one of the lights on the side of the vehicle. Now, this is very small, and it might not bother you, but it is something that bothers me. And this is certainly not the only time we've seen Rockstar have trouble with livery designs on their car. We've seen this with the Nero and we've also seen this with the uh, Comet Retro Custom where they had trouble aligning some of the symbols and logos on the livery with pieces of the car. So just keep that in mind that that is another thing that happens with this vehicle with the Rapid GT Classic. So that's the story with that but most of the liveries are pretty awesome and other than those two they're all perfectly normal. Now, something else you need to know about this vehicle is the wheels. So although the wheels can be upgraded and can be customized via the iFruit app, there's really no need for you to do such a thing because the stock wheels are literally the exact same wheel as the muscle wheel, Muscle Freak. So if you wanted to do a different color like white or black or red or green or whatever the case is, 
All you got to do is go down to muscle, choose muscle freak, and then you can apply a different set of wheels. You can color them. You can add custom tires. So there's really no need to mess around with the iFruit app. I know how finicky that can be. I know sometimes it, it doesn't work all that well. So that's great that there's no need to do that. And then if you want to still get that uh, stock wheel look, but add a custom flair to it, you can very easily. Moving on to something else I really liked about this vehicle, and this might be small for you, but it's big for me. So the Rapid GT has two sets of headlights. It has the primary set of headlights, and then it has a set of headlights that turn on when you turn on the brights. Now on some vehicles in game, those lights won't actually illuminate. The primary lights will just get brighter. However, in the case of the Rapid GT Classic, if you turn on the secondary light, guess what? The secondary lights on the grill actually turn on, which is, again, a feature that I think is cool. It's the little things that make this car awesome. So well done to Rockstar for actually doing that. And there's also a unique customization option. It's like a headlight cover. And if you apply this, the headlights actually won't work. The only way to get a headlight kind of effect is to turn on the secondary lights. So I love the fact that Rockstar have included that and I love that little detail right there as not only does it make it important for me because that's something that bothers me, but I also love, like I said, the little attention to detail right there that they did with the headlights on this vehicle. Very impressive and I'm a big fan. Another thing I'm a fan of on this vehicle is the exhaust. Now, I'm not all that much of a fan of the way the car sounds. I wish it had more of a muscle sound, but it is a sports classic. The exhaust is awesome, especially if you get some of those upgraded hood options. You really do see like emitted black smoke and you know fire that shoots out of the exhaust. So that's a really cool small feature, but I think it makes this car look awesome and just adds to the epicness that is this vehicle. Now, cars aren't all about looks, so let's talk about the performance of this vehicle. So what I'm going to be using today is a video that Bruffy did a couple days ago regarding some of his early testing of the Rapid GT Classic. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. And he's pretty much the go-to guy as far as performance, stats, and information on the new vehicles. So let's talk about the new Rapid GT Classic. Is it worth it to buy for performance? And the answer to that is not really but you can if you want to. So Bruffy states that this vehicle drops in right around the Torero and the Sterling GT, which kind of puts it in the second tier class of sports classic vehicles. So it's not going to push the top two, which is the Cheetah Classic and the Torero. So if you already own a Cheetah Classic or a Torero, and your only interest with this vehicle is how well will it perform in sports classic races, then you really have no need to buy this vehicle. However, if you're buying this vehicle for other reasons, and you still wanna know if it can do okay on sports classic races, the answer to that is yes. Someone in a Torero or a Sterling GT or now the Rapid GT Classic can win sports classic races. It's just not at the very tippy top, the top tier with the Cheetah and the Turismo. Now, as far as top speed goes, it has a top speed of 118 to 119 miles an hour, which once again, doesn't put it at the top where the Z-Type is. So it puts it somewhere around the Infernus Classic. So overall, this car for the price you're paying is pretty accurate. You know, you're gonna be getting a close to the top, but not at the very top sports classic vehicle that can win races. But if someone else in the lobby has a better vehicle, like a Turismo or a Cheetah, you might find yourself in trouble, especially if they're experienced and obviously they know what they're doing. So let me give you guys my final review of this vehicle. I think that it is awesome. I love the look of it. Uh, it's based off of the real life Aston Martin uh, V8, which is really cool. Some people think it looks like a Mustang, which I can kind of see that, uh, but it's an overall awesome vehicle. It's not all that expensive. It has amazing customization. It has liveries, which I really like. Um, and it's not bad on the track and on the street. You're not gonna feel like you're handicapped while driving this vehicle. And that's what I really enjoy. You get a nice kind of combination of all three things. Price, customization, modding it and upgrading it. And on the track, it's not actually terrible. You'll still do pretty good with this vehicle. But anyways, that's all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know in the comment section down below, are you going to be buying this vehicle, the Rapid GT Classic? If you have, let me know your thoughts. If you enjoy it, do you not enjoy it in the comment section down below? If you guys did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Reminder, I've got that shark card giveaway going on. That is in the description. So be sure to check that out. But of course, without the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.